came this way already a couple of weeks ago when we camped in a snowstorm and had piles of snow around the tent. And today there's a wind warning for the Cascade Mountains with gusts up to 45 miles an hour. So I can't wait to get up there and set up the tent in the storm and actually teach you guys how to do that properly. So let's keep going up the road to Mount Bachelor and we'll see you in the parking lot. This is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams and we are going to be out in a snowstorm overnight in the Cascade Mountains near Mount Bachelor. I am heading to Todd Lake today. I will be snowshoeing there with the sled and like I said already in the intro there is a lot of wind predicted. Uh, I only had this one other time when I was camping a, a few years ago and it was in the middle of the night and I really couldn't film it then but it was really fun. So today we actually have the wind um, during the day and it should be really easy to film if the camera holds and it doesn't fall over. <laughs> but uh, it will be really fun to set up the camp that way and really go through the motion of doing it securely and don't lose your gear and just uh, be safe and find good spots to do it in. So that's my plan for today and for tonight. Um, just heading out toward Mount Bachelor right now. We started with rain and now it's kind of changing to snow and the roads are getting a little bit worse. So I have to pay attention a little bit, but it should be okay. Well, my friends, I'm ready to go. It's super windy and it's snowing like crazy and I have everything packed up, but I did forget uh, my top this time to put over my stuff. It will just accumulate snow over time, but it doesn't matter. I'm still going to have fun and let's see if we can find Todd Lake together.
Well, my friends, I'm not making it to Todd Lake today. The weather, the weather is amazing, but um, there was no trampled path. It took me an hour just to go half a mile and the trip is three miles long. So to be safe, I'm doing the smart thing. I stop where I have a good place to camp out in the open like I wanted to. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just playing it safe. It's a good lesson for you guys to learn as well, that you won't always be able to make your goal, your end uh, destination, that you might have to have a plan B or a plan C just to be safe. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm out, kind of out in the open. You can kind of see around me. It's a good place for my tent. Down this way, if it was a clear day, we could see Mount Bachelor that way, <laughs> but not today. Today it's super windy and it will be a lot of fun to put up my tent now. little home before I pile all my stuff in. I'm keeping the sleep area closed so no snow goes into it. The wind is steady and blowing pretty hard and it's just super super wet snow falling today. Unlike last time when we had super powdery snow, this stuff is so wet and clingy and everything, all my gear is wet. <laughs> Here's my camera. That's how I was filming. It's the first time I used a rain cover. It's some great wind, isn't it? But the tent is solid. bag is so puffy that it's hard to get into this compression sack and it's hard to get it out again <laughs> but it's keeping me warm I will have to film a review for it at some point well in the short time that I set everything up inside the tent is already pretty well covered with a layer of snow, wet snow, <laughs> and the wind continues to whip around. And it's snowing quite a bit now. I 
think it's going to continue this way until the evening, maybe early morning. And I'm just glad I'm not on the road anymore and I'm not hiking anymore. Everything is set up and ready to go. And I will just go into the tent and hang out a bit because I don't know what to do in this weather. <laughs> Well, it's still snowing and it's snowing and it's snowing and very wet. <laughs> so I just climbed into my sleeping bag and warmed up a little bit. But that's really not a bad thing. Sometimes we just need to slow down and, and take it easy and just enjoy doing nothing. And that happens quite a bit when you camp in the winter. When the weather is too bad or it's too cold. And the best place for you to be is in your tent. <laughs> It's only been a couple of hours since I started hanging out in the tent and just warming up a bit. And the tent is already completely covered in snow. It's uh, wet snow, so it's probably sticking a lot. Uh, I don't think it's as much as last time when we went camping together. Probably not nearly as much, but everything's sticking, so... <laughs> but let's see. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> oh my god. That was on the other side. <laughs> this is always fun. I do feel condensation in the tent because everything is wet and now kind of trying. This is how high the snow is already after I came inside. <laughs> That's quite a bit. That's actually as much as last time. <laughs> Let's close this door real quick. So I don't get any snow in there. Ah. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of snow already in a couple of hours. Look at that. I pushed some of it off, but you can see just how thick that is. I think I'm going to clear that before we go to bed because it's heavy snow and it's really sticking. And we have the same problem again with our sled and it's not done snowing yet. <laughs> it's okay. That's why I came out here to get a nice winter storm and lots of snow and a cozy tent. So heavy. As much as I would like to see how much snow there will be all together. I think it's better to clear the tent before it collapses. I don't think it would actually collapse, but this is much better again, isn't it? The shape is perfect again. There's nothing like hot tea on a cold winter day. I already made this in the morning and this thermos stays hot all day and it might even be warm tomorrow so if I don't finish it and it's delicious fruit tea it's time to eat of course when you're out in nature everything tastes good almost <laughs> I think this has a little bit of onion in it 
anything. my friends that's it for the evening i cleared all the snow off one more time took some photos and some video out there and it's really beautiful but it's still snowing and it's still a little windy sometimes so it's not much to do but to go into the tent go into the sleeping bag and just chill out with my audio book and call it for the night morning my friends it's after 9 30 and i just got up it was so warm and cozy in my sleeping bag and i just didn't want to get out of it <laughs> well out here everything is frozen it got uh, way below freezing last night i think just around 18 degrees it was supposed to be but i didn't measure it and uh yeah everything has ice on it my uh all my backpacks that are out here my tripod, my rain jacket is probably solid frozen. My gloves are frozen and I really wish I had another pair. I have to warm these up a little bit. I'm so close to Mount Bachelor and I heard them prepare the ski slopes all night long. But um, earlier this morning, I actually heard what I think is um, explosions from uh, avalanche prevention. Uh, they were three or four big booms and my guess is that they uh, had some loose snow that they just got rid of somewhere and um, it just made it safe for everyone over there but I'm, I'm not sure I don't know what else it could be so <laughs> it's just my guess Nothing like having a breakfast after a good night's sleep in your tent, isn't there? But today I'm not eating oats. I am so tired of the oats. <laughs> today I brought a muffin, a chocolate chip muffin. Many of you might be more of the hearty kind of breakfasts with eggs and everything, but me, I am sweet all the way. <laughs> I always have something sweet for breakfast. So good.
it is not a good idea to go in wet snow, to try to pull a sled through what feels like glue. It's terrible. I was down on the motor sled um, path for a while, which I'm not supposed to be on, but it was the only somewhat hard path that I could go on. And then that thing curved around to a direction that I didn't need to go in. And so I went through very deep snow again with the sled. And now I'm on the ski path, which is also for not for snowshoes, but I have no choice. I cannot go through the deep snow. Lesson learned. Look at the forecast. And if it's anything above freezing, just, just ignore it. <laughs> just don't go. At least not with the kind of equipment that I took. Even just stomping through this super wet and deep snow is exhausting. <sighs> and then at times I had to just take everything out of the sled and move it separately up a hill and then bring the sled up and then put everything back in again. It's just time consuming, man. <sighs> Side. The parking lot. Oh my god. Well, my friends, our trip is coming to an end. It was an exhausting trip. At least the travel was. It took me two hours and 40 minutes to snowshoe one mile with a sled to come back to the car. And it really shouldn't take this long, but I had to take so many breaks in between. And I had to carry the backpack separately up hills and then the sled uh, afterward. It was just crazy. So I will not do this again in warm temperatures like this. But other than that, it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. But I see you again on my next adventure, which hopefully will come soon. And don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and share them with friends and family. And I talk to you soon and oh my god. Yeah, those guys with their snowmobiles. <laughs> anyway, I talk to you guys soon. I'll see you on my next adventure and I hope you have some on your own. Thank you.